Hi, how are you guys? Now some of you might have noticed I haven't covered the Intel i5-8400 that much yet. So today I'll skip the main review and we'll go straight for the comparison. This is the Intel Core i5-8400 versus the AMD Ryzen 5 1600. The 8400 currently coming in at about 220 US dollars, the Ryzen 5 1600 at 230. Right away I want to point out that the i5-8400 comes with a locked multiplier, therefore doesn't allow for overclocking, whereas the Ryzen 5 does indeed come with an unlocked multiplier. At the time of this video there are only Z370 motherboards out for the new Intel Coffee Lake platform. Z370 is meant for overclockers and you typically have to pay a little more for such a board. Such a board isn't needed for an 8400 though, since that CPU doesn't support overclocking anyway. As for the main specs however, both CPUs are 6 cores, the Ryzen coming with 12 threads though. The i5 comes with higher clock speeds, the Ryzen 1600 with more cache, but no integrated graphics unit. Now that's all great, but let's roll the benchmarks. First I'd like to apologize for the last corrupted camera footage of the i5 and i3 CPUs I filmed. I've lost all recorded clips of the i5 and the majority of the i3 ones. However I still had the i3 and could do the filming all over again, but the i5 I've sold locally the next day for a really good price after filming. This means I'm left here without any i5 footage, so what you're looking at right now is actually an i3. That i5 was a tray version anyway, so no big deal. I hope. Sorry guys. Okay, let's address rendering performance first. AMD's Ryzen 5 1600 definitely is the processor with more power behind it. This clearly shows in rendering applications such as Cinebench and Vegas Pro 14. Multicore performance is where Ryzen is really strong, but when it comes down to single core speed, this is where Intel still dominates. And that slightly higher single core performance does show in games. In the majority of game titles I ran through, the i5-8400 overall simply is is the better gaming CPU, but the differences aren't huge, that needs to be said. Certain people draw conclusions too quickly and either say Intel is better or crap and vice versa with AMD. No, listen, both Intel and AMD have amazing CPUs out right now and the decision isn't as easy to make nowadays. If all you do is game and don't care about all the other aspects, such as video editing, rendering and all the kind of stuff where high raw CPU performance is required, the i5 8400 probably is your go-to CPU. If you on the other hand not only game but do other stuff where multi-core performance matters, overall the Ryzen 5 1600 might end up being the better pick. One also shouldn't forget about overclocking the Ryzen chip. The i5 comes with a locked multiplier, the Ryzen 5 however can be taken to a whole new performance level, especially in multi-threaded applications. In terms of power consumption, the i5-8400 consumes a little less power but in my case, 26 watts more on the Ryzen shouldn't be a deal breaker. In my opinion, both these CPUs are really, really good and you can't really go wrong with either. But of course, let me know your opinions too. And as always, thanks for watching.